Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best ways to fix FPS drops, lagging and stuttering, and overall increase the performance of Creative Destruction 2. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. Comment your current GPU below, and with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. Press the Windows key and search for settings. Once you're in settings, look for gaming on the left hand side and click on it. Now go to game bar. This feature runs in the background and can use up system resources. To improve performance, turn it off. Next, go back to the gaming section and select game mode. Make sure game mode is turned on. This setting helps by reducing background processes and disabling notifications while you're gaming, which can lead to a smoother experience and better FPS. Just below game mode, you'll find graphics settings. Click on it. Here you'll see two options. Optimizations for Windows games. Enable this as well to enhance rendering and make your games run smoother. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Turn this on to help reduce input latency and improve performance. Next, you'll want to make sure CD2 is using the best GPU available. Go to the list of apps under graphics settings and look for CD2. If you see it, select it and you'll see GPU preference. Choose high performance. If CD2 isn't on the list, click add desktop app and navigate to its installation folder. Once you're there, go to binaries, then go to Win64. Find Win64 shipping XE. Click add, then select it. After adding it, set the GPU preference to high performance. Step number two is compatibility tweaks. Go to Creative Destruction 2's installation folder, then open the game folder, then binaries, then Win64. Find Win64 shipping.exe, right click on it and select properties. Go to the compatibility tab, check disable full screen optimizations, then click change high DPI settings. Check override high DPI scaling behavior, click OK, then click OK again to save the changes. These tweaks help reduce input lag and can boost your overall performance. Step number three is disabling unwanted startup apps. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Task Manager, go to Startup Apps, and disable all apps you don't need to start with your PC. This helps your system boot up faster by stopping unnecessary apps from launching in the background. Programs like Discord, Spotify, or Update Checkers can quietly use up RAM and CPU even if you're not using them. Disabling them frees up resources so your games can run smoother with fewer slowdowns or random stutters. Next, disable unwanted services. Search for misconfig or open system configuration. Go to the services tab, check hide all Microsoft services and disable unnecessary ones like fan control, Adobe update services and RGB software. Make sure you're not turning off anything your system needs to run properly. Now let's move on to the best in game settings for Creative Destruction 2. Press escape to open the settings menu. Once you're in, make sure you're on the graphics tab on the left side. For window mode, set it to full screen. Running the game in full screen helps reduce input delay and gives your system more performance by focusing fully on the game instead of background windows or overlays. Next, on the right hand side, choose your screen resolution. Pick the one that matches your monitor's native resolution. That's usually the highest one available in the list. If your PC is struggling, you can go a bit lower, but always try to stay close to your monitor's native res for the sharpest visuals. Now for FPS, set it to match your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if your monitor is 60 Hz, pick 60 FPS. If it's 144 Hz, then set it to 144 FPS. This keeps the game feeling smooth and prevents screen tearing or stuttering. Right below that, make sure VSync is disabled. Turning this off reduces input lag and helps your game respond faster to your movements, which is especially important in fast paced fights. Next, take a look at the Resolution 3D slider. This affects how sharp or blurry the game looks. If you're on a lower end system or getting low FPS, you can lower it to around 70%, but try to keep it close to 100% for the best visual quality. Now let's tweak the quality settings. Set textures to low. This frees up memory and helps prevent stuttering, especially if you're on a lower end system. Set lighting to low as well. It barely changes visuals, but can give a solid FPS boost. As for draw distance, you can keep this on mid for a balance between visibility and performance. If you're focused purely on FPS, set it to low. 
That's it for this video. I hope this guide helped you. If it did, leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps out. We're close to 2,000 subscribers, so a subscription would be greatly appreciated. See you in the next amazing video. Until then, stay tuned and peace out.